So where do they go from here? Joining us now via Skype from Monmouth University, the director of the Monmouth University poll, Patrick Murray. Patrick, welcome back to the program. Uh, surprised at all or a political necessity that made this uh, unavoidable for the governor, even if he didn't feel as strongly as he says he does? Uh, no surprise that he made this endorsement, uh, had a public ceremony to do this. Uh, he had to do this. This is the standard bearer in the October 16th election for the Republican Party. And certainly the governor has to get behind that person. Uh, and so uh, I'm not surprised by this. I'm surprised by some of the things that he said in that endorsement, though. It was a very, very strong endorsement. What surprised you? Well, one of the things was that he said he will be uh, out there in public with Steve Lonigan uh, more than this just one occasion. And I think uh, many observers, myself included, thought that this might be the only time that we see the two of them together. Why? Uh, to, uh, because Chris Christie has his own race to run. Uh, Steve Lonigan can be a bit of a wild card. We already saw that uh, with a tweet that happened during uh, the primary season that came out of his campaign that some saw as racist. Uh, and it was no, not so much the tweet, but what uh, Steve Lonigan said afterward about having a handicap of, of being a white man running for political office in New Jersey. And so, you know, Steve Lonigan has a history of uh, making those kinds of statements. And now he's, he's run a pretty kind of mainstream campaign for presenting himself as, uh, you know, the everyman in New Jersey. Jersey right now. But I thought Chris Christie might be a little bit worried about that. So he has to embrace uh, Steve Lonigan, particularly as he looks ahead to 2016. And there was mention made of that, too. Uh, even Steve Lonigan was talking about what Chris Christie will do for the country. But uh, in 2016, he has to appeal to conservatives. So he has to say that I'm behind the conservatives from my own party for Senate. Uh, he just said, wants to make sure that he's not tainted by anything that could be controversial as he looks to run up his 20-point uh, win, which he's hoping to get in uh, the November 5th race for governor. Well, you probably heard this, Patrick. The governor did take a couple of shots at Cory Booker, not particularly strong, but simply saying that Lonigan would uh, oppose the president more than certainly Booker would. The Booker people shot back. It was fascinating to see the governor alongside of a man uh, who opposes most of the FEMA aid that's gone to the state. After early in the day, he was alongside the man, uh, the HUD secretary, who delivers the FEMA aid to this state. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, Chris Christie didn't show up in his fleece today. Uh, well, probably a sign that uh, it's something that uh, he didn't want to, want to associate with, with Steve Lonigan there. Uh, but uh, we're going to see a lot of this back and forth. Uh, Steve Lonigan is trying to paint uh, Cory Booker as uh, a rubber stamp for President Obama. And we heard Governor Christie chime in on that as well. Governor Christie has not uh, shied away from going after President Obama, even as he's embraced him around the Sandy aid. And and so I don't think we're going to see him shy away from getting in a few jabs against Chris, uh, against Cory Booker, who he's worked with as mayor of Newark, and they agree on a number of things. Uh, but uh, he's going to show his uh, Republican Party bona fides in uh, endorsing Steve Lonigan. The question is, he said he's going to be doing more appearances with Steve Lonigan. I wonder how many of them are going to actually be public appearances rather than behind closed door fundraisers. Patrick, only about 30 seconds left here. We've seen early in the program your latest Monmouth University poll. Booker maintaining that 16 point gap. Uh, some 80 percent of the voters say they're locked into where they want to be right now. Yeah. Could, how much could the Christie endorsement help Lonigan? Could it conceivably help him close that gap? I don't think so. We don't. We never see these endorsements uh, cross over into different elections. That uh, just doesn't happen. I think the real issue here is what we saw on the poll. It's Cory Booker's favorable numbers have gone down a little bit because he got dinged a little bit in that primary. He's going to get dinged more by Steve Lonigan, but uh, Cory Booker is also going to bring it back to Steve Lonigan. So this race can still move, but uh, which direction we'll have to see. Patrick Murray, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir.